hi everyone and welcome to my channel uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating uh, a, pro a little project that I created it's an employee uh, payroll management system as you can see this is the login uh, form or login page uh, here you got the the time and the date and here your file and you can exit uh, by clicking on on the icon or you can, or you can uh, click on your keyboard uh, Control Q and it's going to exit the screen. So I'm going to head over and log in uh, as admin, username, and I'm going to type the password. And I can select here from admin to sales. Um, we can add more values in here if you want in the near future. Uh, you can click on login. You can see here success. Uh, you click OK. And this is the main page. <coughs> As you can see here, you got an employee manager, you got search, you got allowance, you got update salary, you got deduction, and you got the payment. And here a little icon if to log off. When you click on it, you're gonna log off. And here you see I'm logged in as employee ID one. So this is an identification of everyone that logs in. Here you got employee with employee registration, you got reports, you got employee full employees reports, you got employee total allowance report, you got employee total deduction report and here you got an audit with add user and audit trail and here on about uh, version 1.0 so we're gonna head over and gotta go to employee registration and there you go you can even add an image to an employee um, we're gonna say the first name of the employee is Kappa and the third name is let's say Ghost and let's say the 1st of August in 1980, for example, it's a mail, uh, see, kappa at gmail.com, so the contact 07, whatever, uh, let's say the address one's near street, and uh, their street, 8 for the apartment, and the postcode is an E17, let's say FT, and the apartment is sales. Uh, sales status is active date hired 1st of August let's say 2000, 2016 let's say and uh, basic salary will be $4,500 uh, let's say job title is sales uh, executive and you can head over here and you click on file attach an image and I've created a folder in here called employee payroll and it's on my desktop I've got all the images inside it so I'm gonna select Mr. Kappa's image and there we go uh, don't be scared to have any resolution image uh, it's gonna fit right in our label so even if you have like 4k resolution it's gonna fit in here and you can go and add the record I should sure want to add the record uh, if you click no it wouldn't do anything obviously if you click on yes data is saved successfully and then automatically it's going to create uh, a user account for Mr. Kappa or any employee that you're going to add and so I'm going to give it the username of Kappa and the password is the date of birth that you can change it later on if you want uh, I'll click on OK and you can clear that and employee manager will be the same thing to add employee and you can even see here that logged in as one as well now we're going to head over to the allowance uh, we're going to search for Mr. Kappa which is ID number one we're going to bring in all the information of Mr. Kappa and let's say Mr. Kappa have, has an overtime of five hours uh, you know, calculate say total overtime 7.1 and the rate per hour is 22.5 and the total amount is 168 point whatever and you can click on save are you sure you want to save record? You can yes. Allowance added. There you go. You can see even in the table here that we added the allowance. You can clear that. Everything's going to get clear. And you can go to deduction. Same thing. You can search for Mr. Kappa here by the ID. You can deduct by percentage or by amount, either one. So if I said, let's say 2%, and I said the reason was absence and I click on calculate it's gonna say total deduction 90 bucks and salary after deduction is 4410 and click on save you want to want that record yes there is save successfully and you can see here as well I'm logged in as one you can clear and everything's get cleared 
Uh, let's say you want to add the by the amount, so you click one, go to the amount, and let's say like 40 bucks. And let's say the reason is absence as well. And on calculator, you go to the deduction and after deduction. Save, yes, did it successfully, and you can clear everything. You can go. And now you can go to the search and you can search for the employee. Uh, let's say for our case, it's Mr. Kappa ID number one, uh, there you go, all the information. Let's say you want to update any field in here, let's say the apartment, for example, let's say apartment nine, and you can click on update record, if you want to update, yes, record updated, and you can click on clear, and then again, click on one, there you go, it's nine. If you want to change it back to eight, you can do this, yes, okay, clear, come back, there you go, eight. If you want to delete, you can click on delete, or are you sure you want to delete record? Yes, it's going to definitely delete it, but for testing purposes, we, we're not going to delete it now. So you can see here as well, like logged in as one. And you can update any employee salary by searching for the employee by the ID. You bring all the information here, and you can either do it by percentage or by an amount, say, for, let's say 5%, for example, now. And update, yes, you want to have the salary, yes, record updated, there you go. Let's add a 5% to the salary. If I want to click on an amount, uh, add or update salary by a month, let's say 30 bucks, update, I actually want to update salary, yes, there you go, add a 30 bucks. And now, if I want to do a payment uh, to generate a slip, click one, that's the employee ID. And I'm going to click on generate uh, slip and I'm going to choose our folder in here, employee payroll. And you can see Kappa Ghost Salary Slip, the PDF. You're going to save. Report will change successfully. Okay, close that. Go to the report here and you can see there you go, all the information on the salary slip. And let's say now you wanted to see all the employees. so generate a report for all the employees, the employees report, report generated successfully and there you go, there you go, all the employees that you have. So I'm going to put that inside here. So if you're going to go to allowance, say in the desktop, employee, employee allowance report, save, yes. And let's do the last one, deduction report. Say employee report, employee deduction report, save it. There you go. In the folder, uh, let's say allowance report. There you go. That's the allowance and everything. Let's say deduction. There you go. That's the deduction. And this is obviously the employees, all the employees. So there you go. And you can you can add a user in here. Say, let's say we can add a user. Let's say John. And uh, let's say, uh, sorry, the division is sales. And uh, let's say John. And uh, let's say the password is one two three. You can see add yes. Uh, okay, clear. And you can update, delete as well. You can delete it. And now the last thing remaining, you can see the audit trail. You can see. Update a record, deduction, allowance, that record, and I'm logged in. You can see the time and date, and you can see the employee ID. And even though you can search here, so if I search for zero, there's no employee has zero. If I search for one, there you go, employee has one. And then if I click on log out, there you go, I'm logged out. So I'm going to be posting all the videos uh, starting from uh, August the 30th, 2016. And I'm going to go through with you step by step on how to develop this uh, basic employee uh, payroll uh, management system. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned.